So today we're going to be having a look at how to make this object. I'm going to use two different ways just to show you that there's more than one way to do a particular thing. So stay tuned and follow along. So let's have a quick look at the diagram and then we'll get started with our drawing. So I've opened it up as a canvas in another tab here. We can see it's a it's a block that's got three holes and it's got sort of a triangle shape with curved edges. Um, so now there's a couple of ways to do this. There's no one size fits all. So I'm just going to show you the two ways that I have uh, thought of that I think would work. Um, but yeah, you're free to play around and see what works for you. So we can see we've got this base um, at 85 and there's 50 and it's 15 high with a radius of 15 and 35 there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the side profile and extrude it along that path and then we'll cut out the rest after. So we got 50 wide, 50 from that height to the center, a radius of 15 and diameter of 15. So I'll start off with this line and then the 15 millimeters up. Let's double check that. 15 millimeters up. Got a short term memory. There we go. 15 millimeters up. So I'm going to draw on the top plane. Uh, actually, I want to do this on the front plane. So we'll draw a sketch on there. And I'm going to start with the rectangle. That's 15 by 50. And then I'm going to draw a construction line up from the center point here. You can see there it snaps center point. That's going to be 50. So at this point is where we had our arc. So let me just take off construction. This was 15. And then we had a an arc which also came to 15. So let's go 15. I'm just going to draw this right around so it's 180 degrees. And then we will draw lines from that point going past there. Same thing on this side. And now we are going to make them tangent. You can see if we just connected it to that bottom line we wouldn't be in the right place. So now we can finish that sketch. Um, and if we look here, that's what we got. So we're going to extrude that to 85. So now let's extrude. I'm going to leave the center blank so that we have that hole going through. 85. So now this is sort of what we're looking for. We're going to do a cutout in the middle here. So I will draw on this plane. We have a gap there of 61 and those are 12 mils deep each. So just a reminder we're looking at from this angle. Um, I'm just going to draw this here right through and then we'll dimension it so I will dimension this from that at 12 this one there also 12 and then this should be 61 yep that's 61 and then just for the sake of constraining the drawing I will give this a measurement the diameter to that point Let's just make that 60. I want that to clear the top. So now we can see it's fully constrained. We didn't do that with the first sketch, but it's not the end of the world. So what we have now is this little block on the side. And if I extrude that, select it, cut, and I move it through, through that body entirely. Now, all of a sudden, we are looking at something a lot more like what we're looking at. What we're looking for and then all we need is this 
the circle hole in the middle which is what seems to be centered perfectly so it's 20 millimeters diameter so then we can draw a sketch on this top plane over here so I want to find the center here so I'm just going to project this whole piece and then I'm going to draw a line construction line across each of these and where they cross will be the center there are other ways you could do it I just find this is a visual way that works for me so I know I'm I've got the right point okay and finish sketch then extrude we'll extrude this down you can just drag it right past or you could say to object and select this and there we have what's in the drawing so we built the side profile and extruded it and then we've cut out over there so I'm just going to go through another way that we can do the same thing go back to the beginning delete everything so I'm going to just start by extruding this block up which is 85 by 50 by 15 high so I'm going to draw the sketch on the top plane get a rectangle we want 50 by 85 and we're going to extrude this up to 15 so there's the base that we're working on and now I will draw this side section and mirror it across onto that one so that from there would be 50 minus 15 which is 35 to that center point so let's start with that so let's draw on the side of this object over here I'm going to project this so that I can use it and we will go construction line there's our center point we want this 35 and this was 15 and then our arc we'll just draw a center point arc I didn't set the radius on that one I'm clicking too quick so let's go back and dimension that to 15 so now we're going to draw our lines from these corners and make them tangent with the with that arc we've got there so I'm just going to draw it past do the same on this one and we'll select tangent and then we'll trim the excesses off you can see this takes a little bit longer than the other way and we extrude this to 12 millimeters and I'm going to say join so it doesn't create a new body so there we've got part of the object so now that we've got this one we're going to repeat that step on the other side so I will come around to this face select that and we can just project this entire body click OK so now this body is on that plane if I finish the sketch I can extrude this body now so it's minus 12 and there again we have what we're looking for so now we need to make that hole in the center there but I don't know what the center point is there. so I can just on this drawing do a construction line like I did previously like I said I just enjoy this way it's a nice visual way so I can be 100% certain that I'm at the center so previously we drew a center diameter circle and extruded it this time I'm just going to draw a point so there's point take construction off point at that point there finish sketch 
now we have that point as a reference I'll use the hole tool select that point 20 millimeter hole and it's boring straight through and there we have the part so now you've seen two ways to do the same thing I'm sure there are many more ways to do one particular thing but there we go um, so if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe maybe leave a comment if you want to add something to what I've said if you need any help with any of your work you can contact me at fusionfundamentals at gmail.com the email address is in the description as well as the link to the image that I used as our canvas until next time cheers